Yes, people, what's good and welcome back to the channel. So today, guys, we're going to talk about... Yo. I've got another bloody fish tank delivery. Oh, thank you. What's in the box? Yes guys, so I got a delivery today from Aqua Print. Now these guys are a 3D printing company and they are amazing because they have done stuff for me before in the past and I really like their work. So they sent me something in the box. He asked me to try it out to see what I think. So let's do a little unboxing and see how we get on. Okay, so let's see what's in the box box okay okay so aquaprint aquaprint uk so there you go facebook address on there instagram what oh, these are let's have a look put it on the side and we'll we'll see what it ties into next what else do we have in here okay yeah 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 okay yeah i see i see so let's have a look at these yeah so let's have a look so these are labels for your plug so for example this goes onto a plug and you use a couple of ties to um, tie them on. So this goes onto the plug uh, and it actually wraps around with the tie and you can see what plug it goes to. So for example, this is skimmer. So um, yeah, yeah, this is nice, it's quite nice. I like this, I like this. You know, rather than having, um, you know, big labels and black and white labels, you can actually have nice colored labels for your plugs and for your devices or your um, skimmer and your circulation pump. Yeah, this is quite cool, I like this. Next verse has he included. Oh, wicked. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's have a look. I need to open this. Let's open, let's open this. Let's see what's going on in here. Ah, so this is like a, a fish feeder. So I take it you drop your frozen food on top here and throughout the day it thaws out and then the fish um, can actually start you know, feeding from one specific location in your tank. Yeah, attached by a suction cup, which I think in my opinion, suction, suction cups are quite neat. They, um, they they literally just blend into the glass and they're easy to clean when you have to clean them. But yeah, I'm feeling this. I really, really like this. And the quality, look, look at the quality on this. Who knows this was 3D printed? This, that, that's the thing about 3D printing. I think it can be done so easily and aqua print, you know, again and again, when I order stuff from these guys, they've proven that, you know, their products are, you know, one of the best on the market. And I think they are, have a good um, ethos in the way they deal with, um, with clients. And yeah, I just love ordering from these guys. I'm very impressed with this. Okay, what else is left in here? Ah, frag rack. Look, magnetic frag rack as well. Okay, okay, right. So let me just um, move these aside and then we'll have a play with this frag rack. Okay, now I'm back. So let's have a play with this frag rack. So frag rack 3D printed. And when I spoke to um, the owners at um, Aqua Print, they said to me, this can be done in various colors. So, you know, this color scheme can be changed up if you want to. Um, you have good strong magnets that are actually encased and sealed um, so that when you put this into your aquarium, you know, um, there's no, um, you know, issue with the ma uh, magnet getting rusty or causing issues with the tank. Now, what he explained to me that that is actually amazing, I think this um, frag rack is ahead of his game, is the fact that you could use this frag rack as normal frag rack, normal frag plugs, yeah? When playing around with um, the frag rack itself and these little bits here, let's see what we can use these for. Yeah, I got, I got patience, we have to bust this open, yeah? Okay, so, these, yeah, can actually lock into this, right? So what we have to do is you have to put it on, give it a little twist, and it screws on, look at that. Yeah? So you, you can actually have your frag on here. So do your frag, cut it up, put the glue on here, and just have it sitting in here. And all you have to do, get it in, lock it in place, and you don't have to worry about the fish or snails or you know water circulation hitting your frags and um, having your frags fall onto your sand or other coral corals. So yeah, I've no alternative for doing this one. This one's not too bad. Doesn't move, move quite. You know, it's still got some movement in here, but yeah. But come on, guys, this is what I'm talking about, and this is why I like ordering from Aqua Print. So guys, if you haven't ordered um, anything from Aqua Print, make sure you do. Yeah, because this is ahead of the game i think this is a game changer for me 
this is a really good game changer look it's just it just locks in place yeah i am absolutely loving this i'm feeling this i'm really really feeling this yeah what we have to do now we have to see what it looks like in my tab but before we do that we want to see how well the magnet let's have a look at the magnet itself okay so we have like a bit of rubber on the magnet to protect it against or protect the glass against the magnet i suppose how strong is the magnet let's have a look let's have a see how strong they are boom yeah mm. nice nice i like this let's have a look um at like what this will look like inside the tank because i'm really really feeling this okay so this is what the frag rack looks like when installed in your tank so we have two magnets on the outside very small magnets very small form factor my only um, suggestion for aquaprint if you are going to do this year is just me maybe have the magnets that are that are inside the tank um, have it horizontal so you have a, a smaller form factor so it's more streamlined but you know what it actually looks decent from this angle seriously i love this so you know aquaprint said that they can do this in um, other colors and they can you know have different lengths and you know aquaprint these guys i would definitely definitely recommend let's have a side view of what this frag rack looks like because i'm really feeling this okay this is a side view and i, I like the way that the frag rack kind of angles um towards the light so your calls you know your coral frags can get as much light as they require when they are settling in and growing on their frag plugs or to be tran transplanted or, or to sold on or whatever you want to do with it but the way you know this is constructed i really really like this yeah and like I said, when I spoke to, to Aquaprint, they can do different um, colors um, to suit whatever theme that you want to do. Um, you know, I don't know if they, they'll be coming up with different sizes, but you know, if they do, yeah, this is definitely a winner for me and I'll be definitely ordering one of them. And to me, in my opinion, 3D printing is the way ahead. I think a lot of um, the industry, um, you know, the world in general is, is moving towards 3D printing because, you know, it's so easy to do and you don't have to worry about, you know, would it fit? You can literally have something done that's bespoke to you. If you want it to, done to a certain size, you can get 3D printed. So it's a, you know, just give Aquaprint a ring, give them a call, give them an email, um, decent guys and that, um, and see what they can offer for you. But this frag rack, Aquaprint, yeah, yeah, I'm really liking this, man. I'm really, really liking this. And I like the concept of the, the locking in um, frag plug. So um, like I showed you guys before in the previous video, you can literally, you know, screw them on and you can put your frags on there, let them grow out, unscrew them and then transplant. So let's have a, let's have a look. Let's have a look what it looks like with the screwed off frag plugs. Go. So literally just slide it down to where you want it to, to go or you can do what I do. Um, just dip your hand, get some gloves on, Get your hands inside your aquarium and put it where you want to go so this is what it looks like from from you know from the front and when your frags would grow it will actually face the direction of the light and it doesn't impede your um your view of your tank so if you had this quite low in your tank yeah you would hardly notice it being there Yes, so that's what I'm talking about, people. Look how small this is. Now, I'll keep talking about the small form factor. Another benefit or plus for this frag rack. Imagine you have all of this full of frags, yeah? And you have normal frag plugs. The possibility when you have to move this thing, some of your frags may fall off, some frags may fall on the sand, you know, frags may touch each other. But with this, because the frags are screwed into place, you literally just have to lift the frag rack. Even one-handed, just get the magnets off, get one hand, Lift the frag rack up, put it wherever you need to put it, on the side of your glass, whatever you need to do, and then put the magnets back on. And you don't have to worry about the frags moving anywhere because this locks into place, people. Trust me, yeah? Now, remember I showed you guys these at the beginning of the unboxing? I'll show you how this is applied to your plug or your plug wiring, yeah? Just hold on. Now, this is my control board where I use these labels to mark off what my plugs are so I don't get confused but this is my skimmer which one would you prefer I prefer this one yeah you see how cool this looks yeah so you know exactly what plug goes to where all labeled nicely so these 
I can get rid of, yeah? And this is what it looks like. Right guys, so this is the feeder. So if you look at the top here, you can see I've got some food in there. And yeah, it's just breaking up over time as it thaws out so the fish can feed. Now, I believe this actually reacts to certain lighting as well. So if you, know, if you have your blues on, um, this really pops at night. So I'll, I'll give you guys a picture of that or a video of that um, later on so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so this was an unboxing and a review for the new Aquaprint Magnetic um, Frag Rack with the screw-in frag plugs. Yeah, so you guys make sure you check it out. Make sure you check their website and hopefully um, we can have these on the HTC Aquatics website as well. So you guys can, you know, go for us to go for them or go direct for them, whatever you want to do. But the site is there for you guys to do the same. So guys, thanks for watching. This is Narayan for HTC Aquatics. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah, and I'll see you next time. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Join me on Friday so we can talk about the upgrades to the Pico. See you then.